Welcome back. We are going to do a lesson on weight and measurement. And I want to introduce you to a tool. This is called a balancing scale. And it helps you weigh different objects to compare their weight, to find out which object is heavy, which object is light, or it can help you balance or make equal two objects. So we're going to have fun with this. I've gathered some objects and we're going to compare their weight and then we're going to do something fun. So I'm going to tilt the camera down so hopefully you can see it. Okay. So <clears throat> I have some objects that weigh differently. Some are heavy and some are light. And so we're going to go ahead and compare using our balancing scale. So I have, you know what these are? The binoculars. So I'm going to put one of them. Put the binoculars on one side of the bowl. Ooh, look what happened. Now I'm going to take a crayon and put it on the other side. And you can see that the binoculars weighs more. It is heavier than the crayon. Okay. Let's try something else. Let's use and compare an apple and a pencil. So I'm going to put the pencil on one side and the apple on the other. So which side is heavier? Which one weighs more? The apple. The pencil is lighter than the apple. The apple is heavier than the pencil. Kind of fun. So we talked about objects that are heavy and objects that are light. Now we're going to use this scale to try to make both sides equal. So I'm going to use some other objects as well as some cubes from a classroom. And I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to take my seashell and place it on one side. And you can see it's gone down. It's heavy. Now I'm going to take cubes and I'm going to put them on this side. I'm going to count how many cubes it takes to balance the scale and make it equal. And I want you to count with me. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I might have to take one cube out. I want it to be pretty equal. Let's see, spread it around. Kind of tricky. So, I would say it's about five. It's close as it's going to get. Five cubes. All right. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go get a piece of paper and a pencil. Pause this video. Go get some tools. And we're going to do some estimating now. All right, now that you're back, I'm going to put one of our erasers in one side of the bowl. And I want you to estimate and write the number on your piece of paper as to how many cubes you think it will take to balance out the scale. Write your number. Okay, so let's go ahead and count and find out how close you are. One, two, three. That's it, because if I put four, nope, it goes all the way down. So it's going to have to be three. Okay. All right. Did any of you come close to three? Yeah. All right. Let's try something else. How to pair of scissors. Whoa. All right. So now you have to predict. I want you to write how many cubes you think it'll take to balance the scale. Oops. Write your number. All right. Let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We stop. 14. Can any of you come close to 14? Pretty cool. All right, let's try one more of Mrs. Davis's objects. We're going to use her sunglasses. All right, so make your prediction. Write your number on your paper. All right, here we go. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, let's take one out. So one less than eight is seven. I think the sunglasses weigh seven cubes. That's equal. Cool. Did any of you come close to that? But you did. All right. Let me set the camera. That was fun. Now, this is your new job. <clears throat> I want you to get a piece of paper. I'm going to use it on my whiteboard, my marker. But I want you to draw something for me. I want you to draw a triangle like this. Okay. So now I want you to draw a line going across the tip of the triangle. See how it's kind of going up like an angle? So this side is low and this side is high. This is supposed to be a balancing scale. Your job is to draw something that is heavy over on this side. And that's why the scale is going down. And draw something that is light over on this side. And that's why it's lighter. It's going up. So think about all the objects that I've shown you today. Walk around the house, draw something that is heavy, and this balancing scale is going down, and something that is light, the balancing scale is going up. Okay? And I look forward to seeing your pictures on Friday, your Zoom meeting. See you later. Bye-bye.